Welcome back to another Pen Talk. Thanks for tuning in, and yes, I've been on a roll. It is near the end of the year, and I haven't done my year-end compilation videos. They may not happen until January, so I don't feel a lot of rush in it because I'm getting these new pens that I want to share with you, and I think it's important <clears throat> the compilation can happen almost any time. This is a new model, Pen, Pen BBS, the 491, so obviously I had to get a few. And in my tradition, I got a 16, which was clear glass. And I, I like think that's great to compare the way the pen looks and the way it's built. Then I got a Winter's Night, or Winter Night, which is a 111. And that one I haven't seen before that finish. So I'm interested to see what that looks like. And then I got dark paint, which I have a 323 in dark paint. And to me, that's the antithesis of uh, smog. It's done with a, a very dark, almost black-like ribbon. So I find that finish very attractive, and, and it's not in many pens. So when I saw it show up in the 491, I said I got to grab it. All these three have the medium nib in it, which is my current favorite. And as I mentioned before, I have a whole bunch of the fine silver ones. There was a 10% discount if you bought two or more pens. And obviously I couldn't pass up getting a pen rest in a color that I don't have. This is a really nice resin. I do have a 323 in this resin. So we may have to show those two together later on. So here is the pen rest in use with a corresponding 323 pen. Beautiful combo. This resin, I think, is uh, chrysorophon, named after um, a mineral, an amber type of uh, mineral. Appears to be used in uh, some Buddhist prayer beads, so that's why it may be popular in China. But it's a beautiful resin. I'm very happy to have found this. From my research, it appears this resin was only used in a 266-308 or the 323 model, unfortunately, because I think this resin would really look good in a lot of other pen models, but now I at least have two forms of it, and they work well together. Out of the box, and all I can say about winter night is, wow. Dark paint is what I expected, and of course the clear is what I expected. My AD had me do a slight adjustment so the nib on all these three pens is facing up. This to me is an evolution of the 323, which was their most ergonomic pen. Um, 267, nobody really talks about, but I do find that to be also very ergonomic, but not a pen you can carry around. But the first time I felt one of these pens in my hand, I felt great. I mean, it just, it has a little bit more weight than the 323. Not a lot, but a little bit more. It feels more substantial. I think the walls are thicker, and that gives it that weight and that substantial feel. And obviously, fit and finish and everything else that a pen BS is known for, these have, and they post. Look at Winter Night. This is the first sparkly one. I think Pen BBS is done. And it's a nice subtle sparkle. And that's a beautiful blue. It's just a, you know, maybe a tinge of purple in there. I'm not the best to try to distinguish between those two colors. And this is a pen you can twirl around in your hand and just, just be amazed and impressed with. And it does feel good in the hand. Dark Paint is another win winner. If, again, they do a phenomenal job with the resins and how they put them into the design of the pen. In order to really see what the pen's like, we need the 16, which is the clear or the glass version. That's a phenomenal distance between the end of that nib and the uh, cap. So you could put almost any nib I can imagine in here and you'd have plenty of clearance. So kudos for Pen BBS to addressing a concern people had about the 308 design and some of the earlier models where 
there wasn't much clearance there and this nib is a a millimeter or two shorter than most standard number six nibs so sometimes you couldn't put in a Yovo or Bach nib that you wanted to put in there and that finial at the back is done the same way that point is just nice it reflects the same um, inverse conical point that's inside from machining this uh, clear acrylic Let's see if we can count how many turns it's one a little bit over one and a quarter turns, so that's nice. So they've, they've certainly addressed some of the pens which had more than two turns. And again, I think this is a beautiful design. And unlike the 323, it does post. It does post, but not as deep as the 308 and 480 post, the Schaefer Balance design ones, but it certainly feels fine in the hand. So you could write with this posted or unposted they're all going to be comfortable it doesn't have that same type of hourglass shape that the 323 did which i certainly found to be very comfortable the end of the section has a pretty good flare out which they've been doing the 480 has it too and it's about the same size we'll do some comparisons and uh then we'll just ink up one of these pens. I got to decide which one. I'm pretty much certain now which one. So the obvious pen to compare the 4912 is the 323, which is the upper one here without the converter in it. I had to remove the converter from the 491 because it's just not appropriate to compare one with a converter and one without. So as we look at these, we'll notice a lot of similarities obviously more clearance in the 491 a more conical top this one has a conical top but it doesn't have the same height similar sections but here the o-ring is above the threads here the o-ring between the section and barrel is beneath the threads and I prefer it above the threads and if we look at the back we can see that hourglass shape here which stops it from being posting where here they've made it more streamlined and it comes down so this dimension diameter here is smaller than in the middle of the barrel it's just a great look comparing the sections they're fairly similar the 491 which is the one with the medium nib in it is a little bit bigger in diameter not as much of an hourglass shaped more conical when it comes down to that lip and the lip at the end is fairly similar on both of these, but it's more pronounced on the 491. We can get to see the difference between the standard Pen BBS nib and the medium. And we'll look at that tipping material that's on it. Slight upturn as usual on the fine. I just like them. And the other thing is the uh, difference in where the o-ring is on the section on the original 323 it was down below the threads and here they put it again way above the threads and i feel this is the preferred method if you're going to eyedropper because you silicone grease this and you also silicone grease the threads in both of them but if this o-ring does its job you're not going to get ink penetrating into the threads here the threads are going to get ink on them and it's going to make it harder to clean out when you do change inks not that that's what you're going to do very often if you eyedropper a pen. We had to compare the two dark paints. And hopefully with uh, what I've given you before, you can tell which one is the 491 and which is the 323. <clears throat> 491 is on the top. is the medium nib and also has that great new clearance between the end of the nib and the top of the cap. I just think this is an excellent resin. Something again I think that's unique. I don't know of another pen that uses a resin like this. And that's saying something considering the amount of pen manufacturers there are in the world and the amount of resin people that make resins. I'm glad I have two of these. So do I have other sparkly pens? A few. So I got this 618, which came also in different colors, but I got the green one. Here's a Sailor Pro Gear, which is in like a sparkly purple. 
The 618 definitely is very similar to the resin in the Pen BBS, but I always considered this to be injection molded, which you can do with those type of, of sparkle elements. The Sailor is just kind of a subtle sparkle design. Certainly, uh, you know, not as obvious as it is in the Pen BBS and in the Wing Sung. So I don't know whether they still make this 618 and Sparkle anymore. I haven't checked. I got my one. I was happy with it. And who knows if Pen BBS will experiment more with a sparkly resin pen in different colors. I think we need to look more closely at this winter night. In those two finials you can see how that very fine glitter material is dispersed within the resin. You can also see where it's a little bit darker here at the cap where this is thicker because there's that little <clears throat> ledge in there that seats up against the section and also there's a little bit of an extra thickness at the end of the barrel it's just nice the way they did it and, and I'm impressed with how this resin works the other thing that I think is a first for pen BBS is there's no difference in diameter between the cap and the barrel so that's a very smooth transition which is a design feature that is nice in a pen I got some good light coming in, so hopefully it'll show off uh, this resin, which for some reason is just intriguing me. Obviously, we're going to eyedropper the pen. So what ink to go with? Yeah, I picked this one. Crystal ink, so crystal ink for kind of a crystal-like pen. It is in the purple family, but it's kind of like more purpley than not. And uh, I don't know whether we can pick it up. It does have some sheen when you lay down a whole bunch of it. Chromatography shows it's a pretty clean purple with a fair bit of blue in it. So let's see how it works in the pen. So the pen has been inked up. I used a syringe to fill it with ink. And I put almost five milliliters in here. So that's a decent amount of ink. This is a large pen, so that's what you would expect. And it's interesting how the sparkles now work with that background of dark ink behind them. This pen just continues to feel good in my hand. I mean, there's been a number of pens uh, this year that have done that for me. The Moonman C1, the Fuluin 017 have had this feel. So I don't know whether they're doing a different polishing technique or uh, I don't know. I guess at the end it doesn't matter because what matters is how I feel about the pen. Now a nice quick unscrew cap and this fits very well in the hand without posting. I mean I'd only would post this if I had some place I needed to put the cap that was <clears throat> you know I had to put it on the end of the pen which sometimes happens when you know you're in a room or you're in some place where there's no real convenient place to put the cap. I generally put them back inside of my pen holder which I generally carry with me some type of pen case. Enough talk let's put nib to paper. So overall, I like the nib. Hopefully you've heard it, it's relatively smooth, decently wet, does a good job with this ink, and it's easy to color in a patch if that's what you want to do. I haven't done reverse with this nib, so let's do reverse. Yeah, it's pretty much not usable. So if I wanted to do reverse on this one, I would work on smoothing and tuning the reverse side of the nib. 
I couldn't let the reverse example stand, so I did some smoothing on it, and now it works really well, consistent, and it's an extra, extra fine. So reverse writing will work. You just may have to do a little tuning, but these nibs are not designed to work in reverse, so a little bit of effort on your end will be rewarded. I really can't say enough about how much I really like this pen. And it's it's <laughs> difficult because there's so many new pens coming out and, and I just find that they're all very interesting, great writers, and I'm happy that I was able to pick them up, explore them, and, and share them with you. So let's rate this pen. We're going to give it a 9. 0.5. Um, one check for the finish, the build, the design, the ergonomics, and the writing. You know, it's all, this pen has it all. It doesn't have a clip, so for those people that must have a clip, this wouldn't fit into their must-have list. But if you're, if you're a writer and you love writing, this pen is great. That section is just a little bit bigger than the other Pen BBS pens, so that to me works great. You know, you can hold it anywhere. You don't feel the threads. That step up is, is very well rounded, so, you know, that's good. They, again, they did a great job in designing a pen to write with, a pen to look at. And, you know, it's a subtle change, an evolutionary change over all the other models, and I think they've learned. There's a lot of space now to put other nibs in there, if that's what you like. This nib pulled out very easily. I did that when I cleaned it before I inked it up. So let's go some through the details. Design's going to get three checks. Engineering is going to get three checks. Build's going to get three checks. Writing, as much as I love the nib, I'm going to give it two checks. The look is three checks, and the value is two checks. Because it is, I don't know, we're going to give it three checks because this was uh, 20 US dollars, and you can get this pen in different resins and finishes for under 15 US dollars. Uh, depending upon where you get it, you may have to pay some shipping, but just take a look out for it. Right now, I think most of these are just on Etsy, th sold through the official Pen BBS site. So the other thing about writing is when I first inked this up, I wrote with it a little bit and it wasn't consistent. I think it took a while for the ink to really saturate, even though I let it set for a good half an hour. But what I what I felt was is that as you wrote with it more, the paper kind of tuned the nib. There was a time uh, when people used to use brown paper bags and they used to do figure eights and scribbles to smooth the nib. You know, I did use a slight bit of um, nail polishing board with it but just a slight bit and now the nib works great so we've reached the end of this video thank you for watching and this is the last video that I will officially photograph in 2019 so happy new year and that's 2020 you know, two two uh, makes those good uh, glasses on Times Square for those people that like to wear them. So, again, if you like this pen, and if you like a certain finish, you got to search it out, and hopefully you can snag one. And uh, I'm certain this may become their primary model. At least I would think so. Between this and the f and the 480. So may you have many great writing experiences. Enjoy this phenomenal world of, of fountain pens that we are very fortunate to have an opportunity to be in, I think, another golden age. So this is the end of this video for now. There will be more as I rotate the nib. doesn't write when you rotate it too much. So we're going to say bye for now. Enjoy your life. Enjoy everything. Till next time.